everyone, this is Amy at Hello Thrifty. It's been a while. I'm glad to be making another video. I have my husband Dave here with me because we have spent the weekend together uh, doing the Highway 70 sale. Hello all. Yes, so we, um, we had a yard sale and we sold on Thursday and Saturday. And it was supposed to rain like all weekend and so we thought it was going to be a total washout. And uh, Thursday we decided to go ahead and brave it and we set up because she worked really hard the week prior mm -hmm. and had packed a 7x16 uh, trailer uh, front to back, up and down. And uh, But anyway, it oh, rained all day. I'm glad we did because yeah. we made 1200 bucks For the whole week. Yeah, so. so there was lots of traffic, lots of people came through, never sat down. There was never a dull moment. Um, so they went, went, went really well, so we're glad that we did that. And then we did go shopping on Friday. Um, so we wanted to do a haul video. It wasn't near as good as last year, of course, because mm -hmm. of the, probably the weather. Uh, we had a lot more uh, things to buy, I guess, last year, but uh, we still did good. So Yeah, and I was uh, looking for, for quality over quantity anyway, so I think that's good. Mm -hmm. I will say about our year, yard sale, um, we had a couple of uh, folks come by who mm -hmm. may be watching, um, met some subscribers, which that was a first. Mm -hmm. That was very cool. So if you ladies are watching, it was good to meet you. And then we also had our reselling friends uh, come by, so that was really awesome. And as you can tell, we're wearing our, our shirts. Thanks to Kevin, the Tennessee picker, for yeah. making these and handing yeah. them out. So, and then we got to meet up with us. Uh, we met Resale King. Resale and, King. And his girlfriend, Josie. Yes, and mm -hmm. then, uh, of course, Lonnie mm -hmm. and uh, Candace was there mm -hmm. with Garage Flips. Mm -hmm. And then Cincinnati picker, John, mm -hmm. his wife, his, Whitney, Whitney, and his, his cute kids. little baby sawyer and, uh, and darcy darcy, darcy. Mm -hmm. so they were all there and, uh, um we got to see caleb again mm -hmm. and, and yep. his wife Caleb and his wife and then also um philip was there he was up around nashville mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a uh, new guy that uh met was a uh, jim mm -hmm. and uh jim hooked us up well, actually hey, you can just show him the box oh yeah show him the box he hooked us up with a brand new steamer. Yes. Uh, he got he picked up at a state sale and uh, he gave it to us for what he paid for it and uh, it'll be coming real in handy. So Jim, thank you a lot. We appreciate that. And oh, Lauren, sorry, I spent a lot of time talking <laughs> to Lauren at dinner. We had yes. we got to go to the reseller meetup. That was awesome. We so, enjoyed that. So yeah, we had a good time visiting with all the different resellers and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a it's kind of a neat little friendship kind of bond you have there when you you do reselling. So uh, so anyway, it's good to see all those guys. And uh, so now we're, I guess we're going to jump into see uh, show you a few things that we bought. Um, I guess the first thing I'll start out with, I picked this up at our first uh, yard sale. It is a Harley Davidson pull stick. Um, this I'm just keeping. So uh, it's going to add to my collection, to my pull room. And then at our second uh, yard sale that we went to, uh, I'm going to show you this. It's memorabilia. That's uh, Harley Davidson memorabilia. And we did uh, basically a bundle. Uh, kind of thing. The guy won a certain price for everything and we're like, eh. But then she was grabbing all kinds of clothes and so then we uh, did a, a, Harley. Yeah, a huge bundle uh, for a total of $100. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to show you is some of the memorabilia and I'm probably going to keep it and decorate my pool room. But If we look these <laughs> things up and they're worth hundreds, we're going to enjoy them until they sell. I've already kind of <laughs> looked them up. They range between $50 and $75 a piece. Uh, but so there's uh it's just kind of the history of uh harley davidson of course this came from bumpus harley davidson um so i have that one here's another one that has once again just some of uh, the history of harley davidson this is the motorcycles of the 80s thought that was pretty cool and then uh, this one here, uh, I like this. Uh, I was trying to mess with the tag a little bit and I accidentally unglued it. Uh, so I'll have to re-glue that uh, tag in the middle. But it has all the different gas tanks and it tells you what motorcycle it came off of and uh, what year that was. And then I have another one, uh, different tanks. And then one more, that one right there. And so, uh, then on top of that, also he had a whole bunch of patches, or basically a lot of rocker uh, uh, patches, I guess, uh, you know, just various ones. Anyway, there's like 15 of these different patches, uh, some other ones. And then there's 
little uh, vest pins, I guess that you would, you know, you put on your vest or your hat. Some of them are still in their packages. Um, so stuff like that. Anyway, what I, uh, I looked up just the pins that we have. They sell for about $10 a piece uh, is about what they sell. And same with the patches, uh, about between eight and $10 a piece, depending on the patch. Uh, I figured if we just got $5 uh, for each pin and patch that we have, it's about $130 just in those, and that pays for everything else. So I'm keeping one. that, and here's the money maker. <laughs> She's good at doing the money making. Oh, thank you. Um, these are, you know, clothing items. I didn't want to pick up a lot of clothes because it's so easy for me to find clothes, and I have probably 75% of my 3,000 items listed are clothes. But when it's Harley Davidson, I don't count that as clothes. Um, <laughs> this is this is good profit right here. Um, so I have a long sleeve women's tee and a medium, so they're not even teeny tiny sizes. And then this one is in really nice condition, and it's got raised studded um, logo there with a ooh, hot air balloons on the back. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. We've got a thermal kind of tattoo print top there and then a red thermal i really like the design on that one and then we have a tank top with the rings there and a harley logo on the bottom this one looks brand new mm -hmm. and that's all that's really cool studded and raised that's uh, a very vibrant orange color and then another t-shirt and then we get into Fancy ones. Yeah, we're talking at least $30 on these. Um, so the front has a, a neat embroidery. Oh, check out that back. Man. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a good one there. And then we have a short sleeve button front, and it's got a ombre dip dye color going on with it, and then wings on the back. So that would be a good one. Then we have a hoodie, and this is kind of... Uh, reminiscent of Ed Hardy there and just a uh, bumpus of Jackson there on the back and then a red plaid zip up hoodie so that'll be probably more around the $40 uh -huh. mark and then look at this one yeah has the HD and it's a it's a thicker kind of jacket yeah I would I would call this almost a coat but yeah, yeah. it's a thick jacket uh, then check out that back that's a really nice back Is that so awesome? I mean I just gotta take the lint brush to these and, yeah. and they'll be good to go this, this reminds me um man if you come across Harley stuff pick it up definitely uh it reminds me a, a couple years ago we uh came across uh Bumpus Jackson was having a clearance like a <laughs> sidewalk clearance sale just trying to get rid of stuff and uh, it was, they were like, fill a bag for a uh, hundred dollars. That was probably our best score. Yeah, oh yeah, it was the best score by far. We um, we stuffed all these bags, grabbed some helmets, some motorcycle parts off. We spent eight hundred dollars uh, at that sale, but I bet you we made. We didn't keep track at yeah, that we point didn't keep, in time. But it was but easily over six thousand. Uh, that's, that's what the number I was going for yeah. was six thousand. So also from from that gentleman, I got this Brighton card case, and it's in great condition. And then uh, he had quite a few pieces of motorcycle themed jewelry, but they weren't Harley. But this uh, pendant looked really nice and it is signed. So we'll look that up and see if that's any kind of brand. Um, and I got these Birkenstocks from him and they have, they, they need work. But any kind, anytime I get Birkenstocks really cheap, I put them on auction on eBay. They always sell and usually get multiple bids. So, I mean, I imagine with the condition on these that I'll only get around 20 bucks. You know, the bottom there needs some work, but a lot of people Still, man, how rough those are for 20, get 20 bucks out of it, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, um, and we're still going from this guy. Yeah. This is all the $100. Yeah. Um, this is a Michael Kors crossbody purse. It's a nylon, great condition, and a Brighton leather crossbody purse. So, so. So as you tell, I mean, we bundled everything together in uh, two separate kind of bundles. We did $80 once and then $20 at another time. But we got all that for 100 bucks from the same guy. And uh, like I said, I'm probably keeping half of, of it, but we're still going to easily make plenty of profit. This too. Oh, yes, and we threw this one in just to sweeten the pot on the second deal. So uh, this is just one of those Christmas lights and in the box. Um, you know, they sell for like $30 at the store normally. We'll probably get 15, 20 bucks. I'll put it on Facebook yeah. around Christmas time. So, It'll go. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
there's there's tons of profit there. So it was well worth the hundred dollars spent, and I get to decorate my pool room and you know in the process. So so that's always good. All right. Um, it seemed course. it seemed like it was a, a motorcycle haul. Uh, down the road from there, we went to another place, and uh, we were looking around. They didn't seem like they had much, but then they pulled a tarp back off of um, part of a trailer, and it was it was getting wet because it was raining. Um, and anyway, I looked at this stuff, and I about walked away. And she was already dug in. She had looked up some of the stuff, and she's like, there, "There's value here." And I was like, "But man, look at his prices." And uh, and so I, I was just, I wasn't Never even going to ask. Never pay attention to prices. Yeah, I wasn't even going to ask because I was just like, even if he cut those prices in half, it's, it's just, it's no profit in it. So uh, I was ready to leave. And she asked anyway, well, these were brand new rotor covers for a gold wing. And uh, what he had, he had a gold wing trike and he had bought a lot of parts uh, for his gold wing trike and he, he had fixed a few different ones. Some of the parts were new, some of them were old. This is brand new. And sold for a hundred and it was a hundred right at a hundred dollars. Hundred hundred mm -hmm. yeah. That's Wait. why I asked. So you know, I so, looked it up and it had sold I think three or four times recently for a hundred bucks. Yeah, so anyway, he come back five dollars. And so we're like We will take Okay, it. so we're gonna look at the rest of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what we did. We started going through there trying to find anything that was brand Picking new. Up new, new stuff, uh, yeah. just because we I uh, wanna check it out. So uh, these right here are reflectors that go on the side of the saddlebags on your uh, gold wing. Uh, there's two of them, brand new. Uh, then there is, this is a show chrome accessories and it's a floorboard relocation kit, brand new. Um, you know, the, the price that the guy paid was $60 uh, and that was probably a sell price. It looked like maybe even a garage sale uh, sticker. Um, so anyway, well, you know, that, that'll be pretty good still. Unfortunately, most of the stuff had gotten wet the day before. Mm -hmm. So the packaging, although new, you know, it doesn't look the best, doesn't. but still there's new. still plenty of meat on the bone. Uh, this is a brand new filter. Uh, has, I mean, it, they're pretty expensive. Once again, new in box. Um, let's see. Brand new light bulb replacement still in their packaging. Had... Um, Tail lights got the right and the left uh, for the trike, and those are new in box. We have this uh, is another show chrome piece. This is a fairing uh, marker light uh, attachment, so it's chrome, new in package. Uh, lower fairing chrome plugs. Matter of fact, I got two of these, two sets. We have. Um, Karyakin long ergo arm six inch. I'm thinking this might be a, maybe an armrest extension. I'm not really sure on that. I haven't really looked it up, uh, but it's new in package. Um, probably like 30. I think it actually says $35 what they were asking. Uh, this is a drag specialties, uh, chrome lower cow vent. Uh, they were asking, you know, $30 for it. So new in package. And then uh, these are Karyakin floorboards, uh, maybe for your uh, highway pegs or, you know, in your highway bar. And I might actually replace my old ones on my bike and put these on there. I uh, haven't really decided on that yet. But if not, we'll sell them. They're probably worth about 60 bucks. So uh, all this stuff was brand new and we bundled it all together. And I was expecting him to come back with a price of... You know, probably, I was thinking in my head, 60 bucks is what I'd be willing to pay. And he looked at it and he goes, uh, 25. Sold. Mm -hmm. uh, so we jumped on that quickly. And then we started talking to him. And he was trying to get us to get some of this other stuff. And found out that he had a brand new armrest kit that would sell probably for about $150. Uh, but it was in a box that it didn't belong in and we didn't find it or didn't come across it and it was still shrink wrapped and everything and once we started getting outside the bundle he started thinking about what he paid yeah, for everything yeah he started thinking about what he was paying you asked about one thing at a time and oh he was throwing out like fifty dollars for that yeah. fifty dollars for this cover fifty dollars for the and it's so like we were, we were done we were pleased with what yeah we were like <laughs> okay we should should have sold that earlier and bundled it with the first bundle but uh now he did offer to sell everything on the trailer for $50, but it was a lot of carburetor parts that had been used, taken off a motor, been broken down. Uh, there was some exhaust tips off of a bike, but they were OEM, they were stock ones that had been used and they were dirty and dingy, some dented up, scratched. And so 
it just wasn't worth the it would have hassle. Created a job for yeah, us. it yeah. wasn't worth the hassle to go through all that that stuff to figure out what was new, what was old, and uh, what was worth it. Uh, plus that was a good start to the day. I yeah. mean, we hadn't even made it out of Jackson yet at that point. That's no, like, no, we were still in Jackson. So uh, those are the first ones. And like I said, it's all motorcycle uh, mm -hmm. related. Um, this item is something that I'm not surprised my eye went straight to. Um, for 14 years, I was a special educator, and um, this is a, a device that you would use to adapt electronics for people with disabilities to use. Um, so I knew exactly what it was. And um, when you, you use adapted equipment or uh, you place a special needs label on anything, the price is really high, which is unfortunate. Um, but what this is, it's, it's a power link is the name brand that I'm familiar with and this looks exactly like it. So this is probably a lesser brand. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what it'll go for. Um, but it's a nice thing for um, a family to have at home, maybe if a child's used to using something like this at school. But you could hook up maybe a fan or a radio or, I mean, you think about a person with severe disabilities, they're not able to work these things on their own. So it's like, would you use it for like a sensory? It deal, can or? be. Now, it, it, it says it comes with a sensory learning kit. Oh, okay. What we would use it for is you can plug in multiple types of electronic devices and then in here there are these adaptive switches that hook into it. And what these do is that you can change what the switch does. There, in one setting, the person has to hold the switch down and anytime they raise their hand off of it, it turns off. You know, it's for training, it's for occupational therapy, it's strength, all kinds of things, cause and effect. Um, there's another setting where they can press it and you put a timer on it. And so it'll play for however many minutes you have it timed for or seconds and then they have to press it again once it goes off to make it come on again. Um, and then one just turns it on and it stays on forever. Um, but there, there are multiple things that this does. But anyway, I don't know what it'll go for, but I'll be happy to uh, take an offer on it to send it to a family who would need it, who would like to have mm -hmm. something like this and not spend hundreds of dollars. And we, we have found stuff similar to this uh, before that has caught our eye when we've been at like Goodwill and stuff like that. And she is... Uh, being able to sell those and actually being able to kind of make a good price for someone to help them out. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, grab the games sure. and then I'll get the other things that came from that yard sale. This is a yard sale that we go to every year. It's a big family that gets together and puts everything in the yard. You have multiple people and they all put their own prices on stuff so they don't bundle. You pay what's on the ticket. I've yeah, learned that. And now, <laughs> thankfully, the, these games weren't really all the expenses. No. Uh, they were uh, three and four dollars. Uh, but these aren't to resell. Uh, I don't know really even what they're worth resale value wise. We got these to play with our kids. We have a two, three, and a five year old. And so I uh, got the pie in the face game uh, to basically, you know, put some shaving cream on there and play pie in the face. And so I thought that was pretty fun. And then uh, the other one is brand new in the box, never been opened, and it's called Wet Head. It's kind of like a Russian roulette kind of thing. You give a spin, you pull a pin out. And if you pull out the right pin, uh, basically it drops water on your head. And so we're gonna play this with our kids. Uh, I think it'll probably be fun. We'll probably do a video of us playing with our kids. Yeah, um, we're, we're in the process of possibly creating a channel for our very precocious five-year-old. It's called Jovi Jabbers. We have some videos created, but we haven't actually got the channel together yet. Yeah, she, uh, she is a hoot. Uh, she, she hams it up and uh, she, she watches a lot of YouTube videos of children's shows. And, and so she's always like, you know, hit the link below, subscribe, you know, thumbs up. And, and she always, hey guys, and <laughs> does the whole speaking to the camera and everything. So she would be great yeah, at probably doing a video. For so, fun video ideas so we'll probably her. do that with her and she'll, yeah. she'll enjoy that. So at that same sale, I got this Florida Gators jacket. Looks brand new. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if anyone actually even wore this. It doesn't look like it. It's Columbia brand, you know, which is not the best brand, but it's a pretty good brand. So. And it's in great shape. So. Mm -hmm. Four bucks for that. Uh, and then for three, I got this O'Neill dress. And this is an athletic brand. Um, and I've sold just their t-shirts before. Um, and, you know, it's not anything crazy special. But it has great color. Yeah, and it's like, a, it's seasonal. It's right now. Uh, it's got a ruffle at the bottom. And it's like a high-low. Um, anyway, I should be able to get probably between 15 and 20. And then, last thing from that sale, this uh, little wallet just caught my eye. Um, you could tell it was real soft, it felt like real leather. And when I opened it up, I saw that the original tag was in there. 
and it is from Anthropology. And it's got a $58 tag on it. And it's been used, but it's in really nice condition. And there's like some kind of brand logo on there. It's like a, is it a deer like a horse? horse? There is a brand yeah. at, at Anthropology called Holding Horses. Hmm, okay. But I'll look, I'll look it up and maybe find out what brand it is. But if not, I can just put Anthropology. Anytime you pay $2 for something from Anthropology, you got a good wow. deal. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. This was a one-off. One-off. Oh, yes, I remember this. Uh, we went to uh, basically a kind of a, it was a building that could be almost like a thrift store. And so anyway, we went there, we looked around, uh, their prices were just a little bit high, and we found out later that it was a, a guy who's kind of getting into reselling, wasn't it? He said he works and, uh, 60 hours a week, but he uh, has a Goodwill Benz very close to his house, and he just can't stay away from yeah, it. Yeah, so, so he's starting to get into uh, thrifting, and so uh, he had a, a number of things, and, and he, I mean, he had an eye for some stuff. He could tell what was uh, yeah. of value, and yeah. so he was learning, and he was kind of getting the niche of it. And uh, well, anyway, she, uh, she came across this. This is... Brand new, still in the package, uh, phone set, mm -hmm. and uh, I think what you he's he multi wanted, line he phones. wanted he 15, wanted 20. 20, and I offered him 15, and and I had kind of been discreetly just talking to him, just kind of looking at my phone, and glancing up at the item number, and when I offered him 15, he goes, hmm, eBay comps must be good, huh? <laughs> oh, he caught me. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, he gave it to us for 15 so. Yeah, so, so. Um, that has sold for 100 yeah. And I've sold several um, phones. And one time when I was in Nashville, I had looked up on Marketplace, and there was a company that had gone to a different system, and I bought all of their phones that they had in their offices. And uh, are you really going to use this? Well, I'm not, but somebody, <laughs> somebody will. Somebody I think will. I sold those for $150. Um, so, and they weren't cordless. So, yeah. this, so that was a good deal. And a little bit later on, uh, we set up the next day on Saturday, and uh, that same guy, he came to our cell and uh, bought a few things at our garage sale. So uh, it was kind of kind of fun to see someone kind of just getting into the reselling business. I'm just kind of go through some miscellaneous shoes and a purse here. All right. Um, I'll, I'll hold the basket. This is the only thing I bought at this sale. Dave's eye actually went automatically to that. Yeah, I saw it. When I walked out, I saw it. I was like, she'll look at it. Yeah, and I did. And this is a Brighton. Um, it's and it's more modern. Some of my Brighton bags haven't been selling very well, but this one is a adjustable crossbody. It's in great condition, um, so I think I should probably be able to get about thirty bucks out of that. And she knew it was a good time to, to ask how much it was because a the guy, guy came was out. The only one outside, so he was like, "Oh, three bucks." Yeah, like that. Always ask the guys for the women's stuff. <laughs> um, I got these shoes at a man sale. Maybe. And I even walked up. I said, I found the girl thing in your man party. Yeah, they were like grilling <laughs> out and they had all kinds of man tools and everything, but they wanted a lot for their man tools. Yeah. But she found those. I did. My eye just went straight to them. Um, I am not familiar with the brand. It's La Artiste Spring Step, but I could tell that they were leather. Look, Look at, that. at those bottoms. Like brand new. They uh, are sized with a European size, so usually that's an indicator that it's a, a higher brand. Um, also, they're obviously a comfort shoe that's made for somebody who walks a lot or stands a lot to walk on, and people will pay good money for good shoes. That'll keep them comfortable. Um, so I looked at these up, and used ones have sold for 45. Um, so I'm thinking on the high end, 70 bucks for these. Awesome. I paid I paid five, and $5. I actually tried to offer three, and the guy wouldn't have it. He, I remember he yeah. said, well, that's cost a lot of money at the shoe store. I said, I don't <laughs> shop at the shoe store. That's why I go to yard sale. <laughs> we had a little banter back and forth there, but yeah. he wasn't coming off his five bucks. No, 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 let me pay that five bucks. Yeah, it was worth it. Now, they also had some uh, Orange County chopper bicycles that looked really cool, but I, I was afraid to even ask because... A lot of the other stuff was way too I would have paid a good price for those if our son wasn't just three years old. Yeah, if our son was a little bit older, heck, I probably would have paid $75 yeah. a piece for them. They were really, really cool. Um, I got all of these shoes at a church youth group church sale that we ventured off the highway. We did follow a sign on the highway that took us to another highway yeah. that I got these at. These are Allegrias, and they're all leather. The bottoms of those are really nice. Sold Allegria's many times. Um, they used to sell for 60, 70. Um, now I'm thinking more around 45 on these. And they don't look like they've been worn much. Not much at all. I mean, they've got some some signs of occasional wear, but uh, and they're they're a good size also. So 
That was definitely a good pickup. Dave's eye went straight to these. I saw the Merle. Or those are Keens. Oh, those aren't, yeah, yeah those aren't Merle's. Yeah, they're they're Keens. The Keens. Uh, and these are in fantastic condition. Yeah, they look brand new. Yeah. So they, they, they need a little cleanup. I see something back there. But for five bucks, that's going to be a real good profit. And then these are just a, a boutique brand. But they're very in style right now. A peep toe booty. Kind of a faux suede. Um, if I don't keep these, I'm going to put them on Poshmark. Um, the searchability for them on eBay wouldn't be good. Um, because they're not, you know, a name brand. But uh, on Poshmark, if somebody was like searching through my closet or just looking for booties, it doesn't have quite as much competition. So I think somebody would see those. Um, we'll get into just a couple of clothing items. Like I said, I didn't count my Harley stuff as clothes. Hmm. That's Harley stuff. That's Harley. Uh, I didn't want to pick up a lot of clothes, but I got a few pieces. Uh, this is a Matilda Jane. Woman's dress. I listed a Matilda Jane dress today. It sold in minutes awesome. for thirty bucks. Um, well, I remember when we had a, our garage sale set up. You were. I know you sold some for like forty, or you were selling stuff even while we were. Or, oh yeah, on uh, oh eBay. I was making money on eBay while we were at the sale. So, um, but this is a women's Matilda Jane dress, and I paid five bucks for that. And then this is a plus size Maurice's denim jacket. And Maurice's has vanity sizing for their pluses. So this is a one, but that means it's a one X. And um, I, denim jackets sell, really no matter what the name brand is. Plus size sells, pretty much no matter what the name brand is. But Maurice's actually usually sells for me. Um, even just a basic Maurice's shirt, they don't sell for a lot. But if I get them for 50 cents, I'm probably going to get 10 bucks. They don't sell fairly so, fast, don't they? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this had a lot going for it. Although... Tempting. <laughs> it's a one. nice jacket. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is Maurice's also, and these are just some capris, and so they're in season. But for one dollar, I got these and all these Yankee candles. And I didn't want to pick up low dollar items, but sometimes if you uh, get a Yankee candle that the scent is uh, no longer made then it can be worth a little bit more. So, I mean, a dollar for all of this, I thought I'd give it a try, and if not, I'll just bundle it all together and um, sell those for awesome. probably about 10 bucks. Dave's gonna see what he can find over here. Uh, probably do that one next. All right. And then we'll do this one last. This is a bag of Beanie Boos. Um, I came across two trash bags full of Beanie Boos recently and uh, gave some to my kids and uh, started, uh, looked them up and pretty much any Beanie Boo will sell for $10. Um, but some of them, especially if they're a Justice exclusive or they're retired, um, especially if they still have the hang tags, I've had three that sold around 40 bucks a piece, um, which is crazy to me. Now, none of these have tags on them. So, most likely... Well, they have their regular yeah, tag. Yeah, yeah, but not the hang tag. Yeah, not the hang tag. Yeah, the hang tag. Um, but that, this was just a couple of weeks ago that I did really well, so I was drawn to them. Um, but I will just throw these in a lot together. If not... Did you tell them how much these things were? Oh, I paid $5 for the whole bag. Oh, I mean, how about the ones that are selling? Um, the, did, I didn't, you say, did you have one on that other bag that you got given to you? Sell for... Yeah, I had one sell for $44. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, now I want to look all the Beanie Boos up, and I wasn't going to sit there and, you know, look up all their Beanie Boos. So, I paid $5 for everything, and if there's a good one in there, it'll get sold by itself. All right, then we went to um, another garage sale, uh, family garage sale, mm -hmm. and while we was in there, I was kind of scouting out, looking at um, some of their different things, and I think I came out with the winner in, the, in there. So. And it was all lady stuff. Uh, it was almost all lady stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, there was this... Uh, Digestion Plus uh, supplement. Uh, I looked it up. There was uh, individual packets on eBay. I was noticing that I finally came across boxes, and that's what this is. This has 30 packets inside this box. It's an Arbon product. Uh, I've bought Arbon before. Yeah, Arbon Arbonne Essentials. Stuff. And so, uh, anyway, I looked it up and sold consistently, like recently, tons of them, $30, $35. Uh, for that, and yeah, I picked that for $2. Yeah, don't uh, look past supplements so and makeup that's and great. health and beauty products. That's that's my favorite thing to sell, really. Um, these are just these are some It Works products, which if these were sealed and new, I'd probably be making twenty to thirty a piece on them. But they're 
looks like they were open and maybe used once or twice. Um, so these were very clean cut looking ladies. I, I don't feel That's still nice ladies. Yeah, I don't feel scared. I'm gonna take uh, this, um, it's a hair, skin, and nail product. So, got those for me. A little fidget cube, um, just cause it's kinda neat. It has a whole bunch of different things that you can do to just fidget with, so. Um, anyway, it's kinda, it's 75 cents, so. Show them the ding. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> we got our daughter she is five years old. This will be her first Dooney and Burke purse, yes. so she can look really special. And um, she looked up. It's it's a little a little dirty, a little rat right out, and stuff like that. So she, you know you want to make an older style. I'd want, probably sell it for like twelve dollars yeah. if I sold it. So you want to make a lot of money on it. But you know our, our little girl, she can have her first Dooney purse. So uh, so anyway, that was a buck. And the last thing from that sale, um, it was there were probably four tables. Oh, I did get a dress and a necklace for myself there. Oh, yeah. It's in the closet. Oh, it's in the closet. All right. Um, there was an older lady who was probably in her late 60s, early 70s, and she was dressed to the, to the tee. She was very proper. She was, her table was like immaculate, but whoo, her She was proud was, of her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. Even the costume jewelry. She was proud of her costume jewelry. This hat did not have a price, so I went ahead and asked about it. Um, because it's 100% wool. It's in perfect condition. And the brand is Badgley Mishka. And for those of you who are watching who are more of my pay PayPal, what? PayPal? Poshmark. Poshmark followers, you know that Badgley Mishka is a high-end brand. Um, so it's not, it's not going to be easy to find a buyer, but I think somebody will love it and will pay good money for it. So I didn't want to pay a lot for it because I know it's probably going to sit around for a while. Um, but I went to the front and I asked the granddaughter, and uh, she, she asked her grandma, she said five bucks. And pretty good anyway. Pretty good, but. And I came back, I was like, well, how about three? And three? the grandma, <laughs> oh, that's a nice hat. <laughs> and, and the granddaughter goes, come on, grandma, how about four? She said, well, fine, let her have it for four. <laughs> So I took it and went for four, and like she followed us out of the garage. Like, you enjoy that hat. It's a good That's hat. That's a nice hat. That's, That's nice. a good hat. <laughs> so, so that was fun. Uh, and then uh, one last thing, I suppose. I think we've gone. You can show that, and then I'll look over here and. Okay, see make sure we don't have anything else. Uh, we went to one. And now this is another thing that we're not going to sell this, but we're going to give this to our kids um, when we do get snow around here, which. Is, we haven't really had much this last year. But anyway, this is a snow sled with a steering wheel. And so, it, if you can see that, it turns the sled forward back here. And uh, so they can steer in the snow. So and hopefully we'll get some snow this uh, coming year and uh, they'll get to try this out. It'll be a lot of fun. And so it's like five bucks for that. We thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be really fun whenever we get to use it. And you know, since I've cleared out some space by selling some of our kids' stuff from, you know, their baby stuff, that was taking up space in the garage. Now that can take up space in the garage. And I don't know if that thing's vintage or not, but it, it looks really cool. And I figured, hey, when the kids get too old for it, then we can sell it. Yeah. Um, we we drove so far to this yard sale, I had to buy something. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It was three miles, supposed to be three miles off the road, I guess. And they, they and it signed. it was a huge sale. Huge sale. And they signed very well. And so we were like, okay, you know, they signed very well. We're going to, we'll follow this one out. It might be a, a gold mine. And I drove right past it because I didn't realize that was the sale. Yeah. And uh, we turned around and had to go back. And we went in there and, uh, wow. Yeah. They had a. Uh, they had some cool stuff, but the prices on the cool stuff was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, like they had a, a VHS DVD combo that they wanted sixty five dollars for. So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I did get this for a dollar, and um, this is La La Loopsy toys, and there are probably seven or eight dolls in here. And it has a little stage, it has changes of clothes, and it has accessories. This is just the kind of junk that my little girl loves. Um, this isn't the it thing right now, La La Loopsie isn't, but I did look this up and I, I think I'm gonna get 30 bucks for it. Mm. Um, if not, 20. Um, but these little bags of junky toys. It's like uh, Shopkins, LOL, and mm -hmm. uh, we have Pop Teens. Party pop teenies. Party pop teenies. Um, uh, they're all this little cheap Chinese whatever. I don't know. 
just plastic right. toys. Yeah, but plastic toys. Them. They they love it, but Polly they have, Pocket. Yeah, Polly Pockets. They mm -hmm. have little accessories and everything. Uh, but for some reason, the little kids. I mean, they just love this little stuff. And you lot any of these up, and mm -hmm. they're selling on eBay. Mm -hmm. They're not worth listing individually after shipping, but you know this many pieces. Yeah, you get a whole bag of accessories for one of those. I've sold the Disney princesses with little clip-on dresses before, and I think I got around thirty dollars for a lot of those. So yeah. they're definitely worth saving up. And then I just have some ink. I got uh, this was seventy-five cents for a single ink cartridge. That's probably ten dollars. And then I think I can lot these up for about. $35. So I think that's all we have. Um, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time. So um, we'll do it and, again. And like year. Uh, last year, we uh, we just went shopping. And uh, we, now, granted, last year we got a lot more stuff. We went shopping and we loaded the band really well. This year, the the weather kind of played an effect where a lot, there just wasn't a lot of sellers, not as many sellers mm -hmm. set up. There were still shoppers out there. I think the shoppers um, were hungry for sales. Yeah. That's why it went and, so well. I think next year I want to set up on Saturday because I want to sell. That's mm -hmm. a great opportunity. So many people come, but I think I want to shop for two days. Yeah, I think shop Thursday and Friday because we noticed that um, Thursday, even though it was raining all day and we set up all day Thursday, uh, it, we noticed two different groups of people. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday was pretty much mostly resellers. Yeah. We had a lot of resellers and they bought all our good stuff. Well, and they bought certain stuff that the average person yeah. would not have bought. So it was nice because they we got rid of some stuff that they could make profit on, but also we could kind of get out of our inventory. Um, and the resellers got that. And and, it, and so it was good. It was good for us, good for them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Saturday when we set up, I noticed it wasn't as many resellers, but it was more just the average Joe come and get some. They and bought so my baby clothes. They, they got the other stuff. And yeah. so it, it worked out really well, actually, for us mm -hmm. to get rid of a lot of just excess inventory because we were trying to make room in her shop. and. Uh, which I think she's promised she's going to give you a, a video do a tour. tour because it looks beautiful right now. It looks good. I'm going to attempt to keep it that way. I don't know if uh, probably a previous video we've talked about, but we uh, a while back uh, earlier this year, I added on another section to her uh, building, closed mm -hmm. it in, uh, walled it up, put in a door and everything. And, and there's still we, some organization to yeah, be done. And we've added shelves that. in there. And so she has um, uh, close to probably 1,400 square feet now. Uh, which is awesome, and then we have a back storage shed where this is a uh, what she calls death. That's power. where that's where most of the yard sale stuff yeah. came from because I was just never going to list all that stuff. Yeah. And it wasn't that it was bad stuff; it was just stuff that she didn't. It's really, not what I reach for. Yeah, it's not what she really yeah. cares for as much. Uh, like we had a lot of electronics uh, that was actually good Sony electronics, but she doesn't want to text it, doesn't want to ship it, you know, <laughs> yeah. and so. Uh, it was just easier to, you know, let's he just try to get rid of He works full time, so it's just, you know, yeah. I might get him. If, if, I, if there's something that's worth a lot, I'm going to get him down there. And then I might, yeah, I might do it. But, but yeah, I'm not going to go look and test everything just because I come home and I'm like, I'm kind of done. And then there are kids. And there's so. kids. Yeah, we stay busy with our kiddos. But yeah. forgive us for speaking so quickly. We already did this video once today yeah. and I deleted it. It's a long story, <laughs> but stupid phone. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we were trying to get through it all in one take. So, so we just got the kids down to bed, yeah. and so we're we ready. To to we're bed. ready to go to bed ourselves. So, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a little bit extra time this summer, so hopefully I'll go back to doing some of my what sold videos. Just as I ship things, just kind of taking little clips and showing you guys what has sold. Um, I'm shipping out usually. 30 to 40 packages on a Monday mm -hmm. and about 20 packages on an average day. Um, so I'll try uh, to show you guys some highlights. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she has tons of stuff listed. Uh, she can give you some good content, good, good information and tips on, especially on selling clothes and, and stuff like that, Poshmark and eBay. Uh, so as our daughter would say, if you're interested, <laughs> please subscribe, you know, click whatever down below that she says. Like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, you know, thumbs up and, give me a and huge all, thumbs up. all those good things. I need to get her uh, to come do my outro. Yeah, we'll have to do the outro. <laughs> and if someone's out there that could uh, hook us up maybe with a really cool intro or outro, uh, or at least maybe give us instructions of how to do that, that would be awesome because uh, right now ours is kind of weak and love to see something really cool to, for mm. Hello Thrifty. So mm. uh, anyway, if you could hook us up, we would appreciate it. Um, Thanks so much for watching. It's been kind of right. a long one, but uh, this was an exciting uh, highlight of the year. Awesome. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Bye.